The UK Overseas Territory of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands is located in the Southern Ocean. Consisting of two archipelagos, South Georgia and the surrounding minor islands, and the chain of 11 South Sandwich Islands, these are among the most remote and inaccessible islands on Earth. They are dramatic wild lands where nature abounds. South Georgia is 160 kilometers long and home to over 20 peaks over 2,000 meters tall and more than 160 glaciers. The South Sandwich Islands, meanwhile, are dramatic volcanic islands and include several active volcanoes and even one of the few permanent lava lakes on Earth. Both island groups are home to immense concentrations of wildlife. Tens of millions of seabirds and marine mammals call these islands home, including some of the world's largest colonies of penguins, as well as the wandering albatross, the bird with the biggest wingspan on Earth, and fur seals and elephant seals. But why is so much wildlife concentrated on these cold and windswept subantarctic islands. Across Antarctica, during the austral winter, temperatures plunge to minus 60 degrees Celsius or lower. The cold conditions causes the Southern Ocean to freeze and sea ice expands in all directions for hundreds of kilometers. This creates a fascinating ecological dynamic. It prevents almost all seabirds and marine mammals from breeding and overwintering on Antarctica. So countless millions of animals migrate to subantarctic islands and are concentrated in immense numbers to benefit from the milder conditions and to use the scant vegetation as nesting sites. Cold and inhospitable as these islands may seem, they serve as important breeding sites. The coastal tussock grass forms key nesting habitat for native wildlife. And this is enough to draw dozens of penguin colonies, each hundreds of thousands of birds strong, such as king penguins on South Georgia. This one colony on Salisbury Plain is home to over 100,000 birds and chinstrap penguins abound on the South Sandwich Islands. Zavadovsky Island alone is home to over two million birds. The numbers of marine mammals here are no less impressive. With around three million fur seals on the shores of South Georgia. The seals are usually dark in color, but every once in a while, a blonde leukistic individual can be seen. And among the fur seals, there are thousands of elephant seals. They come here to breed and battle for dominance of the beaches. On land, amongst the tussock grass, the endemic South Georgia pintail can be found. It's one of the world's most southerly ducks and one of the few duck species known to scavenge meat. The South Georgia pipit is also unique to the island and is the world's most southerly songbird. The windswept tussock grass is also home to unique beetles and windless kelp flies which have adapted to life on the island. Offshore, the waters teem with sea slugs, sea spiders, sea urchins and feather dusters. Rich stocks of fish and krill feed the larger seabirds and marine mammals, including immense numbers of whales that migrate here every summer to feed, including humpbacks and the mighty blue whale, the largest animal that ever lived. The abundance of wildlife drew the attention of sealers and then whalers. At the start of the 20th century, vast whaling stations were set up on South Georgia and up to 3,000 men worked on the island during the summer seasons, hunting the whales 
and processing their carcasses for their oil-rich blubber. The whale population in the Southern Ocean collapsed, making whaling unprofitable. So, in the 1960s, the stations were abandoned, and they remain today largely as how they were when the whalers left. Whalers and the earlier sealers accidentally introduced rodents to South Georgia that came to the island as stowaways on board supply ships. And they deliberately introduced reindeer to hunt as game. Both non-native species severely impacted the native wildlife. So the South Georgia Heritage Trust and the Friends of South Georgia Island raised funds for a multi-million pound rodent eradication program which involved the trust dropping tons of rodent poison across the island. In parallel, the government of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands employed expert Sami herdsmen from Norway to round up and humanely euthanize the reindeer. The effort was the largest successful rodent eradication program, and already numbers of native land birds are rebounding, such as the unique pipit. Today, South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands are conserved as some of the most important subantarctic breeding colonies for seabirds and marine mammals on Earth. They are disproportionately important for the wildlife that breeds here migrates across the entire hemisphere. These islands are key for the survival of the biodiversity across the Southern Ocean. This film was made possible by the South Georgia Heritage Trust, the Friends of the British Overseas Territories, and the Don Hansen Charitable Foundation.